Welcome to Flow Motion with Marie. This week's flow is short and sweet, so if all you have is 10 to 12 minutes tops, then unroll your yoga mat and let's explore creating space in the front of the body. These days we tend to hunch when we are on our devices, so let's let this practice open us up and make room to breathe and move. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Come onto hands and knees, and let's begin to take our hips side to side. Not only do the hips move, your neck can move side to side as well. There's a swishing, swaying going on. And we come to center. As the inhale, Arch the back, create space in the front body. And as you exhale, push into the floor and round the spine. Maybe even come up onto fingertips. That could give you a different sensation. As you inhale, flatten the hands, create space in the front body. Bend the elbows even. Exhale, create space in the back body. Hollow out the belly. Come up to fingertips if that sensation works for you. Hands flatten, arch the back, gaze forward, create space in the front of the neck. And round and create space in the back of the neck. You'll come up onto the fingertips and linger there a bit. And we release, flatten the hands and extend the right leg back. We'll shift the weight forward and back. Come forward and back. The hands remain flat. The spine remains long. Now bend your right leg and step the right foot forward. Carry the foot over if you need to. The top of the left foot will push down into the ground. Your right foot will push into the floor. Draw the belly in. As you gaze forward, feel a sense of lift through the pelvis, through the spine, even the hands begin to lift off of the floor. You're not dumping all your weight in the front leg. The back foot pushes down, and you're getting your torso perpendicular to the ground, hands to the top of your knee and breathe. You're rooting down through the feet and this rooting sensation gives the lift through pelvis, through spine, through the arms. Reach the arms overhead. If there's space, reach the arms slightly back Chest is wide, breath is long. Bend your elbows and join the palms together. Now you're creating space in the triceps. Keep your face soft. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Re-straighten the arms, reach the right arm back and place the left hand down the mat. Your right arm reaches and look back toward the right arm. Bend the back leg and don't worry about catching the foot. Deepen the bend of the leg if there's space. If there's space to touch the foot then touch it or reach it, and if not, just keep reaching back with the right arm. Remember to breathe. Let's release the bend. Right hand comes into the inner edge of the right foot. Wiggle the left foot back just a tad, and allow your right knee to fall outward to the side. As your right knee draws out to the side, the right inner foot might lift off of the mat. 
And as you stay in this position, see what needs to soften so that you're not strained. Maybe you need to soften the jaw. Maybe you need to soften the fingers. And do release. Lift the right foot off the floor, bring it behind the left leg, and lower the seat. Right hand to the right thigh. Now energize your bottom leg and push down with your left hand and outer edge of the left foot. The ball of the right foot firms down to lift the hips and lower the seat. Once more, push right hand into the thigh, left hand into ground. Lift the hips, travel the right hand higher and lower it down. Same thing, all points on the ground push down to create the lift and your right arm reaches upward. We inhale, exhale. Gaze toward your upper hand if it feels good for the neck. Lower down. And let's bend both legs, hands behind the thighs, lean back and come upright. Exhale to lean back. Inhale to lift up. So it's this gentle, modified boat pose. Lean back and lift up. Breathe all throughout. Once you lean back, can you linger there and lift your feet and release the arms. Reach the arms toward the wall in front of you. Cross the ankles, come on to your mat. And this time it's the left leg that will reach back. Extend the leg, you're on the ball of the left foot, and you'll shift forward and back. Reach forward and back. Take it one last time. Now bend your left leg and step the left foot forward. We'll do everything on this second side. Left foot firm into the mat. Top of the right foot firms into the mat. Draw the belly in. And get equal pressing down sensation on the feet as your torso starts to lift off of the left thigh the hands come off of the mat torso comes up right hands come on to the left knee and find the lifting sensation not dumping but lifting through the pelvis the arms will reach up So the lifting sensation is really created when you push down, when you root down through both feet. And join the palms and bend your elbows. Perhaps the thumbs will gently touch the top of the back as you make space in the front body in the armpit area in the upper arms and the triceps re-straighten the arms right hand to the ground left arm reaches back your left thumb points downward so you're in this twist there's a reaching back you shift the weight forward just a tad so you can bend the back leg. And you can move your head around to help release any tension in the neck. If you're able to catch the foot, then catch. And if not, then reach. But most important, breathe. Release the leg, the hands come to the inner edge of the left foot, wiggle the right foot back a tad, let your left knee roll out to the side as you peel the inner edge of your left foot off of your mat. What needs to soften? 
what needs to relax a little so that you're not clenched. Your hands press into the mat. Your left foot travels to the back of the right leg, lower the seat. Left hand to left thigh. Now let's energize your bottom leg. Push down with the left hand to the thigh, lift the hips, and lower the hips. All points on the ground. Push down to create the lift. Left hand travels a little bit higher and lower. Reset. Push down, lift off. Left hand will reach upward. Breathe fully. Slowly out. We lower down. Once more, both legs bend. Lean back and come up. If you like the first version, then keep the feet on the ground. If you'd like to lift the feet until shins are parallel to ground, then do so. Lean back, come up, and lean back. Let's hold. Release the legs, arms reach toward the wall in front of you. Breathe. Exhale and release. Cross your ankles and let's come to the middle of the mat. And as promised, this is a short and sweet practice. So let's cap this off by closing our eyes and bringing both hands to the heart. Let's give thanks for this yoga practice. Let's express gratitude to be able to breathe and move and flow. Thank you for joining me in Flow Motion, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.